Hey, what's good everybody? It's CJ Beats. We're back at it again today. Today I was going to show you guys how I EQ and uh, compress my kick drums to give it that knock uh, that you're looking for in hip hop and in trap beats. Um, it's really important that you know you don't have a flat kick in your in your beats because um, you want it, you want those kicks to stand out in addition to your snares. In general, you always uh, in hip hop and in trap beats you want your uh, your drums to stand out more than your instruments do. Um, so to get started, I uh, just looped off a uh, four bar section over here of this beat that I made, and um, I'll show you what the uh, the kick drum sounds like uh, before I EQ and compress it, and uh, you'll be able to hear the difference as I um, add the EQ and the compression to it. Um, so I'm using a kick drum here that is a um, not a very colorful uh, kick. It is um, it's like sort of a heartbeat. If, if that makes sense to you. And uh, the difference, um, I guess the best way I can describe it is that a heartbeat kick uh, doesn't have a lot of um, high ends in it. It's rather very low. So I'm gonna solo that out so you can hear it. All right, so uh, my interpretation of that type of kick is a sort of a heartbeat kick. And um, Another type of kick uh, you, you're going to encounter in making beats is, um, you know, kicks that come out of um, drum kits that are uh, from actual drum sounds, not digital sounds. So, for example, if somebody has a drum kit at home and they and they uh, use their kick drum, you're going to hear a lot of um, more mid to uh, to high range uh, frequencies in those types of kicks. Um, not going to play one for you now to uh, waste time or anything like that, but um, it's just to give you an idea of what type of kicks are out there. Uh, so again, for for hip hop and trap beats, uh, you'd always want to use, in my opinion, you'd always want to use sort of a uh, a kick uh, kick drum that uh, represents sort of a heartbeat. Okay, now um, I'm going to unsolo this now and let you just hear the kick with the uh, four bar loop that I made here for this beat. As you can see, the kick doesn't really stand out. It's sort of in the, you know, in the background. And what we're gonna do now is apply some EQ uh, to get that knock going. All right, so in Logic, you could just go ahead and click on the EQ on that track that you're on. So for instance, this is the uh, one that I have the uh, kick drum on. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my analyzer. And I'm gonna let, uh, let's go ahead and just solo out that kick drum and let it play and see what we got here in the EQ. So we could see the waveform now. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, turn on my low end and I'm gonna take out just a tad anywhere from 50 to 20 here. Okay, I'm gonna enable another EQ band here and I'm gonna bring up that four to 500 range just a bit. Make this range a little smaller like that. Okay, you can already hear that uh, it's applying more of a knock to this kick now. Let's take a look at our uh, levels and see where we're at. We're at uh, negative 0.7. Now, as you can see, I have that, um, that kick lower than the zero decibels already. So by me adding this 500 range, it's going to add volume to the kick. So it's okay to bring your kick down again because uh, in the compression, we can make it a bit louder again. Now I'm gonna uh, turn off the EQ so you can hear the difference one more time. Okay, it's rather flat here. And here it's got some knock in it. Okay, so that's pretty much it for EQing it. Uh, let's go ahead and add a compressor. And for this, uh, I'm gonna just use the uh, stock compressor that comes with Logic. So um, I'm gonna go to my dynamics and compressor and stereo. Okay, I always start off with a preset for this. So I'm gonna go to drums and type U tight kick kit. All right, and um, let's go ahead and play that. 
Okay, so it's got more volume now, um, and it's uh, definitely hitting that threshold a little bit, so we want to bring that input gain down a bit. I think it was, uh, that's good about right there. Okay, you want your ratio to be anywhere between uh, three and four, I'd say, for this kick. It's got a lot more knock now. Let's bring our attack uh, to around nine, I'd say. 9.5, nine. You can mess around with that a little more to see what sounds better for you. Let's bring that release to like 160. Bring that threshold down a bit, in my opinion. Okay, now let's uh, hear it with the entire beat and see what it sounds like. I'm gonna turn off the compressor and the EQ so you can hear the difference. Okay, so. Without the EQ and without the compressor, it's like the kick doesn't even exist. I'll turn it back on. EQ. All right, now you got that knock and that kick. And that's really all that I do with the kick in order to uh, to bring it out. So. If you have any questions, you know what to do. Put it in the comments section. I'm out for now. Peace.